And a special thanks and shout out to Community Chrysler of Martinsville, Indiana for allowing me to come out and film today. Hello everyone, today we are going to take an in-depth walk around look at this brand new 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT Trackhawk. And this Trackhawk is painted in this stunning diamond black pearl coat. It features the SRT Performance Napa leather with the suede interior and Alcantara headliner with carbon fiber trim. The Trackhawk's R four wheel drive with a QuadraTrack active on demand four wheel drive system with select track controls. They are powered by the supercharged and intercooled 6.2 liter SRT Hellcat 16 valve pushrod Hemi V8 engine. They create 707 horsepower at 6,000 RPM, 645 pound feet of torque at 4,800 RPM. They are good for a 0 to 60 mile per hour time in 3.5 seconds, with a 0 to 100 mile per hour time in 8.8 .8 seconds. 0 to 150 miles per hour is 24.4 seconds and they clear the quarter mile in 11.6 seconds at 115 miles per hour. Top speed is drag limited at 180 miles per hour. The sole available transmission is a ZF sourced 8 speed 8 HP 95 automatic transmission. It does feature manual stability via the lever or the aluminum paddles mounted on the steering wheel. Introduced at the 2017 New York International Auto Show, the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk is the highest performing Grand Cherokee to date. It is also the newest member of the Hellcat family. Using the infamous supercharged Hellcat V8, the Trackhawk now tops the Jeep SRT line sitting above the 392. Around the rear of the Trackhawk, the aggressive monochromatic bumper frames the dual exhaust with quad pipes that are mounted on either side. Previous SRT models had the center mounted exhaust which eliminated the ability to tow. And this vehicle is equipped with a trailer tow group, which allows a towing capacity of 7,200 pounds. Wheels on this particular vehicle are the $995 optional 20 by 10 inch black satin aluminum wheels. Tires are the $895 optional 3 season Pirelli P0 295-45ZR20 run flat tires. Braking is provided by the enormous 15.7 inch front aluminum rotors grabbed by yellow painted 6 piston calipers. Rear brakes measure 13.8 inches and have the yellow painted 4 piston calipers. Jeep claims a 70 mile per hour to zero braking time in 168 feet. 
Handling is managed by the exclusive Bilstein competition suspension with active damping control and with control arm front and multi-link rear suspension system, capable of 0.89 Gs on a 300-foot skid pad. Impressive for a vehicle that weighs just shy of 5,300 pounds. Up front, Jeep deleted the fog lamps, their housings being hollowed out and filled with black mesh to provide active cooling for oil on the right and cold air intake on the left. Aggressive lower splitters and additional cooling inlets below the slimmer matte gray painted 7-slot grille complete the front-end treatment. Headlamps are by Xenon HID projector head units with LED turn indicators and LED driving lights. They are housed in matte black bezels with dark tinted lenses. Alright, and this vehicle is equipped with remote start as standard equipment. To operate is simple, just double press the remote start button on the key fob. And equipped with Chrysler's keyless enter and go smart key access system, by keeping the key fob in your purse or pocket, you're able to keylessly unlock and lock the doors. To lock the vehicle, simply locate the black button on the door handle. The horn will chirp and the vehicle will lock. To unlock, simply grab the handle as you would open it. And inside, full leather stitched doors. Does feature contrast stitching. You've also got the carbon fiber accents with the silver thread inserts. This vehicle does feature power heated mirrors, power windows, and power door locks. You've also got two driver memory, eight way power driver and passenger seat with four way adjustable lumbar support. It does have the supercharged sill plates. Seats are Napa leather with the Alcantara suede perforated inserts. Also features aggressive bolstering and the Trackhawk logo embroidered in the seat back. Satin silver accent stitching. Automatic headlamp control with panel dim, fuel door release. You've also got a leather wrap, electronically tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Alright, I'm panning through the interior and showing a little more details. You have a nice leather wrapped airbag cover with a flat bottom steering wheel and the Trackhawk logo. Satin silver threads on the steering wheel stitching. Nice fluid adaptive power steering. You can see the prominent shift pedals mounted behind. 200 mile per hour speedometer. You've also got a 7000 RPM tack and fuel and temperature gauges as well as various drive modes. Leather stitch dash. In the center, you do have the 8.4-inch touchscreen display. This features Sirius XM satellite radio. You've also got Bluetooth audio, as well as dual zone climate control. Various different controls for system functions. And of course, standard with the Trackhawk is SRT performance pages. Shows various different auxiliary gauges as well as dynamic engine controls and readouts, as well as lap timers. This vehicle is also equipped with heated seats, ventilated seats, and of course Garmin based navigation. And by placing the vehicle in reverse, it does acti activate the Park view backup camera with active guidance lines. Works in conjunction with the ParkSense ultrasonic parking sensors. And moving down the center stack, you do have redundant controls for audio and climate. You've also got your various drive controls for lane keep assist. You connect inputs. You've also got illuminated cup holders. Two level storage in the center armrest. Center armrest also features power points. Overhead, you do have an automatic dimming rearview mirror. 
You've also got overhead LED reading lights, as well as LED map lamps. You've also got your rear hatch release, three-channel Home League Universal garage door opener, sunglasses holders, as well as controls for the command view, dual pane, panorama, sunroof. All right, let's take a look at the rear seat. Attention to detail on the rear is the same as the front with the leather and suede and carbon fiber. The rear seats do seat three across. It is a 60-40 split folding seat with reclining seat backs. Satin silver stitching continues in the rear as well as the perforated suede. You have a fold down center armrest with integrated cup holders. Rear passengers also have positional air vents with panel distribution, two USB charge ports, and heated seat controls. And folding the seats is easy, just lifting up the lever on the side of the seat. Alright, opening the lift gate is easy with the key fob. Just double press the lift gate button on the key. As expected with any Grand Cherokee, rear luggage space is very nice and spacious at 36 cubic feet. It is fully lined and carpeted. It features a 12 volt power point, a couple of grocery bag hooks, as well as your speaker and amplifier for the sound system. Underneath the floor mat, you do have a full-size spare tire with jack and tools, as well as compartmentalized storage. You've also got the nice Berber Trackhawk-specific floor mats with the Trackhawk badge. Rollout privacy shade. And closing the lift gate, just press the button in the trim panel. And this does conclude our in-depth walk-around look at this 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT Trackhawk. We hope the review was informative, and as always, thanks for watching.